Your feelings are weak! <laughs> oh, David, I just saw your message. Oh, hi, Manny. Hi, David. Hey, David, Manny's here, by the way. Hey, Manny. I'm here. I was a... First David, one here. You guys know if Manny's here today? That fucker? <laughs> he probably fucking Manny. fell asleep again like a dumbass. Yo, who's, who's Manny? <laughs> hey, I haven't fallen asleep still plays? in a minute. Thunder? I haven't <laughs> fallen asleep in a minute, dude. Claps for you, bro. Good job. It's, it's seven at what night. I, I hope what not. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't logged in since I wiped my shit. Can anyone just uh, send the link in <laughs> chat? That'd be much appreciated. Uh, yeah, I can. You're the best. You're my favorite DM. I'm not, not going to lie. Wow, thank wow. you. Wow, it's almost Jacob like he's your only DM. Shh, don't tell him that. I have a lot of DMs. You're so... cheating on David? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many DMs, bro. So uh, many DMs in my DMs, it's crazy. I posted it in the Mount Nova Discord channel. In the, the best. You're the best. Around, hey, uh, this is a fun fact for everyone before we start. That is you fun. know restaurants? <laughs> you know restaurants that have Michelin stars? Do y'all know where that came from? Yeah. The Michelin, 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 Michelin Tire, dude. Damn. Damn. Yeah, well, what did yeah. you, you expect? It wasn't really a fun fact, that, bro. bro. Come, Come on. on. Okay, do y'all know where the term money laundering came from? No. Oh. Hey. Al uh, Pacone. Al Pacone? No, that's not right. Al Capone. Al, Al Capone, he would um, start laundry businesses to clean his money from, from all the dirty money that he was getting from robberies. So that's where the term money laundering came from, because he was using um, laun uh, laundromats to cycle his money. Wow. So he was laundering his money. Al Capone, huh, dude? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. right oh, Al Capone. Um... I'm getting some stuff set up still. Oh, the secret ones. Wow, so we could have played more games, huh? You have to be in the Illuminati to know about Al, Al Pacone. Al Pacone. It sounds like you tried to mix Al Pacino with Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> you know the owls. So it was one of those them. owls, you know. I mean, they're basically Pichone. both gangsters, right? Like, Pacino's always a gangster, so. Yeah, it's one of those owls, the Cachone one. <laughs> Alfredo's my favorite. Nice guy. <laughs> you like Al Gore? There was a kid in my high school whose nah, first name was Super Cereal. Super Cereal. Super Cereal. Who believes me? It's a member pig. Member pig. He's half man, half bear, half pig. It's like a big pear man? <laughs> Keep your eye out for man bear pig droppings. They're like pig it's droppings, but so more man bear -like. <laughs> Y'all are so Dude. mean. It's like pig droppings, um, but more men bear like. Okay. Oh, think... even mean, bro. You're the one that said Al Cappuccino, dude. Like, what do you <laughs> Al mean? Al Cappuccino. Damn, that sounds kind of good right now. Al mm -hmm. Cappuccino? Yeah. Is that a new Starbucks okay. flavor? I think, uh, I think I'm ready. I'm to your so, <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to do it a little different this session, no. in that we aren't going to, uh, have someone recap. Hmm. But instead, watch Jacob's I, video. <laughs> I, no, I want to. Watching that video and then continue. I want y'all. I want y'all to recap it um, in game, like in it, oh. actually playing, as a way to kind of go over y'all's plan again, but um, but also in game. Does that uh, does that sound okay with everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Perfect. Um, so, with that in mind... So, in-game, uh, we're recapping what happened five minutes ago? Pretty <laughs> much, yeah. Not you're, even. You're just like <laughs> Guys, it's just happening. <laughs> you just Azzle, finished the conversation, Azzle. and you're like, so let's talk about what I just said. I like to think that Azles looks up and goes, what? What yeah, no worry, we all dude, go. Here's time, the thing. Last yes. time I missed the last time I missed the session, we had Jin steal Demon Skull, so it should be good. <laughs> Don't worry, it's much better. It's it's better than that. It's okay. In um, like a cosmic sort of way. Okay, so well, yeah, I guess actually we do not just kind of need to recap because I forgot there's a lot of stuff that happened that aren't necessarily part of the plan. 
Um, okay, so let's just do a normal recap. Let me roll. We just won't go in detail of the plan. Yeah, don't plan go in detail details, of the plan, because yeah. I would like, I I would like for that to happen in session, but as for the session events. Uh, so, go ahead, your Kizos. Oh, oh, sweet. So, All basically, the... we end, this, we, this is the one we ended the fight in, right? Yep. No. Yeah. Well, no, we yeah. ended the fight the one before. The fight was oh. over. We yeah, started yeah. with the fight yeah. over. So this one started with the elves coming, not the elves, the humans coming through the portal, right? Yeah. Basically. Yes. So yeah. much, so yeah. much shit happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, you, can, can you take us to the room, in. David? I can. So yeah, so basically the Rat King came in and we were uh, kind of talking with him and then some humans teleported through. You see this cool knight? That guy had teleported through. Um, and they were reporting to Fael, and Jin started talking to the Rat King. Um, try not to go into the, I guess the details of that are kind of what we're going to go over in game. So humans kept pouring through the portal, and then Yokizos, Ventus, and um, Jaryu went back to Von Rieg to go try to recruit their people that and they were Grot. trying to get. And Grot. Try to recruit the people, uh, the dwarves from Von Rieg. And whenever we showed up, the, the Arcane College was all empty and there was a bunch of shit going on outside, like commotion. And then uh, we noticed that there was a shitload of dwarves that were trying to push their way up to the Arcane College and another shitload of dwarves were trying to like push them back. And so we pulled away the Archmage, or I guess the Dwarf Archmage, whatever. What was his name? Fate? Mingo? Uh... uh... Um, I want to say Renarin, but I'm really reading so like Yarin, Yarin, Yarin. Yeah, just so, listen to this, damn it. So while we were <laughs> while we were talking to him, um, the other people were kind of making their plans with the Rat King, and then the the elf person, or not the elf, the human. I keep saying elves because you yeah, talked human. To them. You talked to the long rest guy, and then human showed up. You know, like yeah, weird. Descartes. Yeah. <laughs> Cards, oh, man. and uh, his 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 leader's name and of this group is Picard. <laughs> yeah, Captain Cap Picard. Captain Picard. Picard. Yeah. I don't know if you got the Star Trek reference there, but <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <we're> <laughs> as was just waiting for more. While we were talking to Yar, I kind of got it, dude. I mean, you know, all right, we're you know, we keep going. While we were talking to Yar, and the door to the Arcane College burst down, and the dwarf ox clan leader comes through and he's in like full armor regalia, like blue, blue armor and shit. And he's got like ox horns coming out of his helmet and they basically bust through the door and, uh, this badass song started playing. Um, Valhalla. And then, yeah, Valhalla. And then they basically came through and they're like, all right, let's go fucking fight. And then, so they came through and then the Ram clan came through and then, uh, what was the other one? Or worm. The oh, boar yeah. clan, yeah, yeah the boar Three clan worms. and the worm clan came through, and there was actually only like, wolf clan only members like, there. Yeah, only like four worm clan homies came though, right? Three. Yeah, not. not and many. there was two wolf clan members though that that were there at the against their clan leader's will, I guess. Um, and then we all came through the portal and we met up and started doing our plan. So. Yeah, pretty much. Wait. Um, is the there anything that anyone wants to? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, is there anything besides playing stuff that anyone would like to add? Uh, I tested my light blade when I was in Von Rieg, and it was just, like mm -hmm. flipping all over the place. Yeah, that's true. It was going crazy. Yeah. Jar, you uh, eyeballed it. But I don't understand it. Also, Jar, you rested for eight hours <laughs> without anybody knowing. <laughs> special, special ability. <laughs> you rested for eight hours uh, in the last five ten minutes. So. Uh, another not not a part of the plan stuff was uh, the Rat King assured us that the orphans are not being misused. Oh uh, yeah, and that Did... uh, they're strategically eyes and ears across the city right now is what the orphans are doing. And he definitely wants the city, but we told him that we would, uh, you know, first things first is take the city back, and then if he proves himself, we'll speak on his behalf of whatever did, leadership happens next. Yeah. Jen, did he confirm that he wasn't turning them into rats? Yes. He was very vague. 
all about most things. <laughs> he said we're not young T, is what he said. Yeah, which I feel like that's pretty straightforward enough. Yeah. Okay, I just couldn't remember. not a real answer still, though. <laughs> I, I would take that as a real answer. He's basically saying, like, we're not, like, the people was, turning people into snakes. He was being, he was being not 100% forthcoming, but he had a cool plan that we kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. If there's not a, if there's not too much else, then I'm cool with just uh, diving in. If y'all are, and oh, letting y'all yeah. kind of rehash Swan the dive. plan together, and for um, and for Aslos. So let me just play y'all some uh, some nice spooky music, and um, basically, the plan has just been thought up. Um. And the group of you are together in this upper story. In the room to the left and through here are about 50 dwarves that are awaiting command. Up against this corner are about a dozen humans that are awaiting command. And then in y'all's little circle here is kind of the, the circle of leaders that are actually discussing uh what's going on and so i would like for y'all to bring aslos up to the plan and then um from there we can kind of begin the next the next part uh we we need more room and i step over here is music supposed there. to be playing yeah it's really soft it's like a <laughs> there you go it and turn it oh, back up. stop there you go I was going to say, adjust the mix on your... Yeah, it's on full right now. I don't hear anything. Weird. That happened to me last time, because I didn't it hear any of the hollow music. Me. I didn't know all that epicness was happening. Oh, man. That makes me sad. Let's see if uh, refreshing does anything. All right, Domingo, y'all can come over here, too. For sure. And uh, they they step on over. I had it, but I gotta turn it down. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Aslos, are you paying attention to any of this? What? What? <laughs> no, I. Uh, no. Okay. <clears throat> what you need to know for sure is that Jen. Ha the first thing is that Jen has conscripted you to his mission. We have uh, two mission plans, and I put the and I lay it down. The you map. assigned him to me. Thank you very much. No, no, you picked Aslos, which I think was a great well, choice. I mean, yeah, he was my first pick, but oh, first round pick. I appreciate. it. <laughs> I was second. Well, also true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, so we have an assault plan, and we have a sewers plan. The assault plan is above ground. We're going to leave straight from here. We're going to cross the first bridge most likely have to deal with some shit and then we're going to try to take the orphanage and the all temple and close down the south side by f at the end of that taking fort pike down while that is happening we're going to have uh, a sewers team go down with the rat king and some of his associates and blow the bridge uh i can't remember which name's which uh, but the southern, the most western bridge right there. And then from there, they're going to go to the next bridge and take that down. And hopefully we'll time this all out perfectly and meet up at the keep. This might help if you go to the Ocaria map and then pull up the plan. Yeah, that'd be probably very helpful. Uh, that's the that's the overall, uh, just the, the, the very... Top level looking down. Uh, I so believe... Basically, we're going to have an above ground assault with just like a frontal assault, basically, with fighting troops. And we're going to try to take the... The first thing we're trying to take is the orphanage, right? We're going to take the bridge and get access to the southeast side and then go to the orphanage. Correct. Okay. Uh, wait, so are we taking the Smith Bridge or the Covington Bridge? Covington Bridge is for the assault team. Okay. Smith Bridge is the first blow. 
That's where we uh, take that bridge down. And then the Orchid Bridge are Fort Pike. Right. Well, bridges. the Smith's Bridge is for the sewer or... plan. Yeah, and then... You know, which a, which a... team am I on there, uh, Jin? You're on the sewer team with me. All right. Who all we who all's with us? You, me, Ventus. Rat King. Rat King. Legends. And, and then we have two of them. <laughs> uh, just, they, they need some just, muscle. We got enough these, muscle These guys. Top. What a legendary squad, dude. Yeah, we're also... And, uh, isn't Thunder also. also coming with us? Or? Oh, yeah, Thunder's with us, too. So, another thing... Uh, something that picked. the Rat King presented with us is that the there is picked. a ship next to the Orchid Bridge that is loaded with TNT explosive. Was it 200,000 tons, David, David said? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of tons. <laughs> Enough to blow up half the, half the city. No, but basically, it's sitting next to Fort Pike, and I think we were talking about we can send it into Fort Pike to try to knock that out, or we can take out the bridge depending on what's going on. So we want to take, we want to try to keep the fort right, if we can. Right. If there's if there's a way to blow the bridges of the fort and keep the fort intact, we can take that. That's great. But I and thought we, we need... needed those bridges to get to the keep. Right. Jaru mentioned that if we needed to, we could blow the bridges at Fort Pike and use the Orchid Bridge to cross and not and just completely ignore Fort Pike altogether if the explosion is big enough or the timing of all that. That was my yeah, understanding. You, you can isolate the troops on Fort Pike if you were able to blow up both bridges. Well, maybe we or can yeah. send the ship to the or north you... side of Fort Pike and blow up there and knock out the top bridge and then take out half the fort still just on the top side. <clears throat> At yeah, that but, point, but that's when we're we're there. We we need to figure out what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, yeah, we gotta. Yeah, but we got plan it, B, it, C, it. and D right there. There's a bunch right, of options. So first objective there. is sewer people go to Smith's Bridge, cross it, and try to make it unusable. Is what it says. So, so but how? That's that's for you guys to figure out. <laughs> I mean, Dan, when you say how, Jen, the room kind of gets a little bit of attention as the way gate begins to light up once again. And oh. Captain Picard looks over and pulls out his pocket watch and says, that should be my second wave. Okay. This is and, the wave you're going to be interested in. And the wave begins to emerge from the waypoint. And you can see that they are not alone in numbers. There's about another dozen. Um, and they have with them a lot of supplies. You can see that a lot of them have like backpacks on or large bags that are across their backs. And there's a large crate that two of them are having to kind of lumber over with. You can see that it's quite heavy for them as they bring it, they <laughs> drop it down. And Captain Picard gives them all a nod and um, turns to you, Fayil, and says, Lieutenant, your second wave. <sighs> okay. Awesome. Okay. These are the guys that we're going to probably be going into the sewers regardless. And so uh, we could maybe keep a couple guys back, but these are they're, they're, y'all are broken up into teams, correct? And um, the, the captain kind of looks at the group and after like several moments of looking um, kind of a, among each other, um, a man steps forward. And kind of nods and says, "Yes, you uh, you requested men that are a little more adept at guerrilla warfare." Yes, correct. Okay, so Jen, I'm thinking these guys for y'all for sure. Sneaky, running around, being able to take people out on the sides, stuff like that. Very well. But uh, do we have any medics that could maybe hook us up before we start all this? And the captain walks over to the new members and says, can you offload your equipment and then help them out a bit? And he turns to your group and says, I put in a request rather quickly. I, uh, I can see that you might need a little assistance. And not going into the large crate, but instead pulling out of one of the bags... You can see that they, the team quickly pulls out several vials of uh, medicine, potions, and, and other goods 
that they kind of begin to dispense between all oh, of you. Glorious. Oh my god. And uh Oh my god, it's a potion that restores all of my spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> not uh not quite. <laughs> oh. And uh I will I guess I'll drag one of these to each of your uh sheets. They provide each of you with a um with a potion of supreme healing and a Ooh. potion of superior healing. So I'm slowly bringing them all to your sheets. They both sound like they heal a lot. I'll start chugging. I asked to drink my potion of frost giant strength. <laughs> I still need to heal the rest oh, of Oh, and I start digging through my bag, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got four potions of healing. Does anyone want those? <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, we're going to spread that out. We're going we're gonna to take a short rest. The next wave is going to be a minute, uh, for sure. Wait, really? Like, I thought we know? said we couldn't do that. We couldn't do we a long do a short, rest. A short rest is definitely necessary. I think we can hold this for 30 more minutes. I mean, that, it's going to take that long for the last troops to come through. I'd imagine. It's my guess. I think Ooh. I handed that out to everyone. Holy shit. If you don't have both potions, just let me know. I should have used my other one. <laughs> but are, are, oh, we, are we, we short? Are are we short, short yeah. Yeah, yeah. You definitely have time to short rest. Because I would say that like all of this talking and whatnot that y'all have been doing over the past like 20 minutes or so, it, it constitutes a short rest. All right, well, I need to meditate. Sweet. Like, David, I have 30, a proposition at least 30 minutes. for you with some cool prayer tricks. <laughs> is it, a, is it well, possible? <laughs> oh, oh, before but, well, I, I start meditating, I want to pull Yokizos over and um, quickly show him, hey, Yokizos, uh, we also have a, a new member, and I pull out Froyo from my bag and also check oh, out Froyo. Oh, shit. Oh fuck! <laughs> Forgot about Froyo. Yeah. Yo, wait. How does how does short rest work, man? Like, do you just have to click roll here? Sorry, before y'all. Yeah, go. I think so. Yeah, you I forget to, to do this every time. I don't think you can do it, mass. I think. Yeah, you can't do it, mass. You do it each time, and it'll withdraw. A so hit if oh. you go, if you hit take a rest, short rest, it has you can select the dice to roll and hit roll from that that port that window. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, if, you do, but if you do that, it doesn't add the bonus. And oh. we've been doing it individually. It only ba it adds the bonus once. I don't know how that works, David. What's the bonus supposed to be? What what bonus? There's a bonus every time you roll it. Plus, yeah, you get it's plus your con. Yeah, yeah it's so, applying it here. Yeah, it, it added mine. No, yeah, but that's how many DA. times am I supposed to roll? No, it? That's what I'm saying. You can roll if as you many can... as your levels. So you okay, hold on, everyone, times. stop stop talking over each other, please. Let me. What are you saying, Wicca? I'm saying if you somebody would have hit 3d12 instead of 1d12, they'd only get plus 5 once. But if they hit it individually, they keep getting a plus 5 every time. Oh, you're so saying I when you stack it, it doesn't give you the bonus to all of them. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That. Uh, okay, I think so everyone's weird. just doing it individual because you don't know what your role's going to be, right? So. Yeah. If so you wait. do it from the sheet, it will only allow you to do it individually. Yeah, so and the okay. sheet do does a d8, sheet. not a d12. Is it a d12? It's dependent on your class. So if oh. you're a druid. And I do DM have four healing. regular potions of healing that don't heal a whole lot. But if you need to top off, then you can have one of those. I'll take one. Because uh, the sheet only said I could only roll two for some reason. No way. Have you? Oh, yeah, because you guys already... did a short rest before, huh? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, take, yeah, I only take, have take five. two of them. Uh, I how do I give these to them? Yeah. They're I think I the, might have one. In the bottom left, there's a button that says Request Trade. Yeah, I don't have a push. I, I have a push of the Supreme and the Superior, but not regular. Oh, I see. Request Trade. I'm good on healing. Y'all can... Uh... God bless. Aslos with his 90 bajillion hit dice. Works. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Oh my can, uh, God. can I trade with um, Aslos some hit die? For healing. <laughs> yes, Why don't you accept oh my, my trade request, dude? Just drink some potions real quick. Throw them down. I accept. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so how do I what do What the this? fuck? Calm down. Drag and drop items. I'm gonna spectate this trade. I think we have to, tr <laughs> like, I have to offer something maybe, I don't know. Offer me no, one gold. He just has to put it on there. I have no valid currencies. Alright, hit accept. Accept. I got it! Boom! That's that's fucking cool. That is Shit, cool. dude. You guys want to do a bunch of trading while we're playing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, dude, look at that! Oh, fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Did it give me the six? I don't know if it did. I think I was already at sixty-one. Yeah, you have you to have apply to that healing. Ventus, do you want or, these other or two? Or you can add it. I'll the potions, one. I'll take one. I haven't used my big ones yet, though. Yeah, everyone should have two big ones in their inventory now. Oh, I used one. Yeah, I got two big boys. <laughs> yeah, big boys. Ah, uh, them boys big. Is anybody really hurting? And Dude, it's like the RuneScape mine? trading screen. <laughs> <Right>. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to spectate this trade. <laughs> Alright. Pleasure and doing business. I'm also going to... Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, while we're short resting, do you want to look through the bag of holding like we said we were going to do? I'm going to... Mm, that's probably uh, a good idea to do before all this starts. Dang it, I should have done this to begin with. Alright, pop. <coughs> Perfect. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, I'll be chilling and uh, bring in Miss Hawthorne back. Who's not completely full, Thunder? Okay. I'm not absolutely full. Yeah, well, I'm six short of full. I'll, uh... I'm 11. I'll wait for them to uh, give you nine finish more. all that. Right yes. there, and, then we'll... and then I will crush Me my too. pearl of power to regain a spell slot. But I'm going to regain Bro, that's a level thousand three IQ. spell slot. 1,000 IQ. Can spell cast wait, guys, D4 where do you and go? allocate oh. whatever number it lands on spell slots back? Click the... <laughs> Characters button at the top, the little three dudes in the yeah, top yeah. corner, and then bag of holding. Fuck yeah! Oh, dude, yeah. Do we so whenever we're done doing all this shit, we have to spend like a good chunk of time to go through the bag of holding and really divvy all that shit out because there's um, a lot of I, good stuff in there. I will. I'm cool with breaking immersion slightly and letting y'all do that during this short rest, since y'all have a lot coming up. Yeah, yeah, we should at least give it a good one. Ten over. minutes. Yeah, ten minutes of like. Yeah, yeah I mean, like you, some you of this stuff's right. not useful yeah, right minutes. now, so we don't really need to care about it. Like, if you have to convert snake skin into a cloak or something, we don't really need that. Hey, this but... this syndicate pipe might be helpful. I mean, it does the whole noxious gas. <laughs> That's I look cool. so positive right now. This, Drew. I'm gonna fucking use my broken unicorn one. No. What? What are you doing? Stop! We see him doing it. Like no. no. Fuck you, butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it supreme. Those are rounded. What, Manny? Oh, I've used slime this meal. one five times, and four out of those five times has been fucking butterflies. Hey, someone, yeah, someone in the uh, in the sewers <gasps> needs to, needs to take the slime meal. You can summon a freaking slime with it. That sounds perfect for sewers. Where is yeah, it? Slippery. Oh, yeah, summon a slime that follows whatever there. alignment you have. This Thunder's our animal hander. I was gonna say that kind of sounds fun. All right, we'll take the slime yeah. meal. Thunder's awesome. awesome guy, Our creature man. Audible. Just make sure this thing doesn't fuck us over. Oh hey, here's cast web thing. Ball of demi web. What? Oh. Demon web. Yeah. Damn. Poison one crossbow six plus, bolt. You got one d six plus one charges. That kind of sounds cool. I'll take and the minor amulet web. of Lolth. I'll take one of those. Because I can use it to summon a quasit, whatever the hell that is. A shadow That's demon. <laughs> Somebody from y'all needs to take that ball of demon away. Uh, I'm sure. going to grab this translucent scimitar. This seems kind of badass. Wait, how do we grab this? You hit take. Yeah, no, Thunder, from... take, take it, Thunder. Take this ball of web. Well, yeah, but uh, how do you open up that, that thing again? It's in the bag Three of holding guys. under the diamond dragons. Sigil of Rakzua. 
Yeah, you gotta hit the three little dudes, actors directory, and then under Diamond and Dragons. Ah. Double click it, and you can Wait, scroll down to the dudes. bottom. The very top of uh -huh. like, you know, yeah, it's like a message. Oh, exist. the three dudes, right? Yeah, it's the third from the yeah message, okay. this, and then three dudes, and then expand Diamond Dragons, and then click on double click on Bag of Holden. Oh, okay. And then scroll like, all the way where? to the down. Scroll all the way down to get the ball of Demi Webb. Oh, Take that oh right, Webb. right now. Did this wave of uh, troops bring in like supplies? Because I need ammunition for my gun. They did not bring in bullets. I don't think okay. they would have known to bring Where's that. Where's that slug at? Okay. Shanti Fang. Hey, David, is there a limit in the number of magic items you can use? Not yes. magic items, but you can only be attuned to three items. So you'll have to check and see if the item requires attunement. I'm going to take a potion of yon tea blood, because we might be able to poison someone with that later. Who knows? We got five of them, so... Jacob, so what was that... that material to build a... make something from? To uh, up my armor class? It's, it was a dragon scale or something. Where is a strip of white dragon hide can be turned into studded leather armor plus one or scale mail plus one. Would y'all be cool if I use that to make armor, fellas? I don't know if you can make it right now, but well, not yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Th I think Thunder needs some armor. Yeah, you definitely need some armor. <laughs> uh, who wants Thank this you. self popper? Self popper is pretty strong. Uh, Thunder, take your slime meal, damn it. You can cast oh, banishment. Where is that? It's where it says slime meal. It's above the auto bowl. Jen, do you? How many th things do you have right now? This seems oh, like slime meal. I just took maybe have. I just took uh, that translucent scimitar. What else is there? What are you trying to get me to take? Uh, self popper. You can uh, pop it. An emergency trick. It allows you to cast banishment. Who? And the glasses yeah. of the listener. You can perfect. You can perfectly lip read any conversation within direct eyesight. That's you huge. Can, so, Jin, I'm thinking you that can hold huge. this until when you maybe get to a big bad and, like, pop this motherfucker. Sneak up and pop this motherfucker on him. And is this a one-time use? I think so. It's just consumable? Once. Oh. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't need them permanently. Yeah, one but time. I could t if I took the glasses as a listener, I can read their lips and understand any language at the same time, so... That could be a good combo for something. So maybe yeah, that's going to get a lot of that's going to get a lot of use out of out of combat too. That's going to be nice. Yeah, and I don't I don't know if anyone else doesn't want it, I'll take it for now. But I don't I'm not like trying to hold on to it. There's oh. also another potion of healing in there if someone wants it. I think someone, I'm should, potions. someone should take it. I'm got this apple or too. It. I'm going to add apple ore. We got a lot of stuff in this bag, guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we can't use most of it, I feel like. We can't yeah, yeah. We get to craft with it. Does anyone want a spell scroll of flaming spear? Sla flaming sphere. What does it do? Jesus. It casts flaming sphere. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. I feel I like Ventus would like that. I would, that. but like I, I wouldn't... No, when to use it? That's oh, cool. I'll, so it's kind of it. like it's kind of like Moonbeam, I guess. It has a five foot diameter sphere, and you can move it up to thirty feet as a bonus action. Wait, can just you have to have like the ability to cast spells to use that, right? Or can anyone? Use I don't that? Think yeah, Dave, so. we've we've never officially. Scroll. It's the it it's whoever whatever you decide. Yeah. So scrolls, David. Can oh, scrolls. scrolls. Yeah, I like doing scrolls personally. I like them the uh, Elder Scrolls way, where anyone who has it, you can, you basically gives you one cast of that spell. Anyway, yeah, that's magic it. or not. Take it, Jim. Yeah. yeah. Yoink. Yoink. I think that's much more fun. Thank you for that. Yeah. I, oh, I dude, we're going to have so many potions after we're done crafting all this shit. <laughs> Wait, Rat King, you had a gun, right? Do you have some spare ammunition? 
probably doesn't need and... Black King. I, I bet he doesn't need I, I need I need four. Or two, at least. File, you should take the Syndicate's pipe. All right, if y'all don't want the pipe, I'll take the Yeah, he, uh, the Rat King kind of looks at you and looks down on you. Um, How tall is this guy? He's like seven feet tall. Oh, sh Very imposing. <laughs> um, still shorter, bro. <laughs> Jory, you he, should take the other minor amulet of Wolf. He reaches into his pocket monocle's kinda cool. and he provides I you also... five shots. Oh. Thank you, Rat King. I also want the party popper. Ooh, the party popper. Or the oh. self popper. Who? Somebody took the self popper. Oh. Yep. Oh. Damn. They told me to take it. Yeah, I, 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 I told him to take it. But I mean, look, whoever's gonna take it just needs to know that that's like a, that's a special moment to use this thing. The and alchemist dope. fire. That sounds fun. I'll take one of those. There's two. So. The broken divination monocle seems like David's nightmare. Yeah, it, I don't even want to grab it. What is it? Well, Warren, the music. Oh no, that was actually super fun. Goes. Yeah, it sounds fun. Kind of locks you in though. Yeah, true. You just get to come up with a cool way of how whatever you said made sense. Loose terms. Um, uh, At least one of the two. Yeah, keep it vague, like prophecy. You know? God, dude, there's so much shit to use now. The vial of vampire <laughs> dust, is Oh, and I still have the Alhoon brain. <laughs> uh, anybody want this vial of vampire dust? What does dragon's teeth do? Because it, does, it doesn't have any text in my... It's probably something you gotta use to make stuff. Uh, if consumed, you uh, get a gaseous form spell cast upon the user. Oh, someone should definitely type. take that shit because you can fly with that, and you can like go through like cracks underneath a door and stuff. Like, so there's also the Eye of Rexuo, which requires attunement, but it gives you that to cast once per day. In addition, a creature that starts its turn in the same space as the attuned creature while they're in a gaseous form must exceed a DC three con save or be poisoned. And while poisoned, that creature is incapacitated. I don't think we have time to attune it. I know, but I'm just saying, if you like that, this will let you do it once per day and even better. Nice. Uh, I don't need this vampire dust, I don't think. Uh, Aslos, did you want this? Have you got anything yet? Uh, I'm good. I mean, I don't... Want... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you need to turn it into a mist. You don't want to turn a mist, ever? Uh, I don't know, bro. Uh, I think I'm <laughs> Jaru? <all right>. Jaru? <laughs> Is that my, am I pronouncing it right? If I'm turning what? to mist, I feel like we have we got a problem. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. What I'm am good. I taking? Uh, You're oh, uh, the the amulet of Lolf. I did take that. No, okay. he's got that. No, it was the va vial of vampire dust. Somebody probably should take it just in case. You yeah. get to turn to gaseous form. Like it, you can escape. Uh, like I think someone on our side. Them to hit you. And you can escape. take it. If we're gonna yeah, I think y'all should yeah, take it. Y'all yeah, should. I mean, we're gonna it. we're gonna do some fun stuff on our side. Maybe get it. We gotta take down the orphanage and the all temple. Yeah, I will take it. Take down the orphanage sounds terrible out of context. I'll take yeah. it just to hold it. We gotta destroy the orphanage. It was empty last time we were there, right, Thunder? The bitch was like was empty. The, the orphanage when you no, went there. two kids. Yeah. Yeah. One I saved completely. Yeah, the, the, we saved both of them. Okay, the, uh, just the audible one is not... sounds pretty fucking dope. Yeah, I think the audible is super cool. Might might be useful in the all temple if we had to sneak in, but I don't think we're gonna be doing much sneaking on our side. I don't know. They're gonna see us coming. I bet. We'll try. I don't know. I'm ready. I'm fucking pumped. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. So, sorting where this does out the now. explosive boat come into play again? Uh, that is going to be our that's later. That's that's gonna be our so we're going to do our first phase, which is not including anything with the boat or the fort. But in the, was it the third phase with Fort Pike or was it the second phase? Yeah, it'll be the it'll be towards the end of the second, beginning of the third, right? It's right in the middle. So of that. essentially, I guess we're going to see what Fort Pike's all about, and if it goes south, we're going to send the boat to either blow up bridges or blow up half the fort or both, um, and then go from there so for now it's just kind of sitting there as like a potential bomb 
I guess. Yeah, the original plan is y'all going to go, go blow the Smith Bridge, and then you will make it to the Orchid Bridge to blow that bridge. But have your stones ready. We might say, no, fuck it. We need the Orchid Bridge. Make your way to the ship. Right? We we're, There's a bunch of things that have to happen there. Yeah, we got options. We got a lot of we, we got, got a lot of ground to cover before we get to that decision. All right, and let's make sure everyone who has their stones has like, let's make sure they're divvied out properly. So okay, I got my paid. stone. I have, I have my stone. mine. I have mine. I have mine. And I'll be on the top. I hand up something that doesn't exist because I gave mine to uh, <laughs> our boy and. Uh, Aslo just gives us a random. Rock. I have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up like a boulder, like picks it up on the dude. floor of the Arcane College. Here you go. <laughs> All right, but seriously, when we get to Von Rie, we're gonna like figure out a way to make cell phones, right? I mean, more of these things, at least. At the, yeah, this thing's awesome. Uh, It'll probably be pretty good, man. I, I would I, like yeah. to maybe have a way where you don't have to say the off. person's name to talk to him. Was that's well, that's, look. Counter. That's like the phone number, though. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. How, you could be talking to all of us or one person. Listen. The one thing we need to figure out with the fo uh, these stones, though, is uh, I think that I think that it's important that Domingo and Captain Picard have some stones. I mean, maybe not Picard because we'll be with us, a lot of us, but uh, at least Domingo needs one. And I want to keep mine for sure, 100%. Just going to tell you all that right now. I want to be able to... Keep. Well, we only have in the combo. we only have two on top and two below. Well, Ventus and Thunder Engine have theirs. So that's yeah, don't worry, I got this. So I just I walk over to Domingo and I hand him my rock that I found on Arcane College Board. <laughs> He's got it. Don't worry, guys. As those, can you fix your tiara a little bit? It's a little loose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where's your tiara? Put it on now. Uh, uh, we need smart uh, I don't trust Domingo rude, with my guys, stone, okay. so if Thunder Engine could give him the stone. See, this is where it's getting confusing, because, like, I'll give him my stone, but then I need one of your guys to borrow for now. Okay. Ventus, can I use your stone, and, he, and Domingo uses mine? Okay. Right. I'm okay with that. I trust you. All right, cool, cool. And I give him my stone. That, no, that's too confusing. Why doesn't Ventus just give Domingo his stone? I, I don't trust Domingo. I'm sorry, Domingo. Yeah, trust, Domingo is... There's only like six of these that exist. We in the brought whole him world. back to life. Nah, Domingo, Domingo, dude, he almost died. Remember? Yeah, you Domingo almost died. We asked yeah. Domingo yeah. to kill one deist, and he couldn't do it. Like, I imagine he Domingo is just listening to all this. Like, Domingo, Domingo is Domingo, completely Domingo useless. Domingo is listening to this conversation <laughs> with a large frown on his face. Let's say we're I all quickly, saying this out loud. <laughs> I, yeah, I quickly look at Domingo. I'm like, Domingo, you got the gate. You were pivotal to yeah. everything that has happened at this point. I'm it, so sorry. Yes, like, at this good. point, we're I just call him fake Archmage, dude. You, you, <laughs> did, you did, you did your job, Domingo. But, yeah, but I don't trust you. I'll, uh, I'll man the portal. Thanks for the stone. So okay. if I want to talk to Yokizos, I have to talk to Ventus' stone, <laughs> and if I want to talk to Domingo. I have to talk. This to is why we got to rework And if you want to talk to Ripjaw, you talk to Aslos. Right. <laughs> hey, Aslos. What's going on up there, Ripjaw? No answer. Um, yeah. I'm in the middle of something. And uh, ah! Captain Picard <laughs> watches this exchange with bewilderment and then raises his hand and says, I believe that they provided us with a few more supplies. And he steps over to one of the last um, vials that remains. It's a quite large vial. And unlike the rest of your health potions, that it's not a brimming red color, but instead a, a slightly translucent blue. And he takes the vial and walks over to you, Thunder, and hands it to you. What is this? It's a pretty rare mixture, so we don't have many to give out. It will uh, help you restore some of your energy. How much energy? Three energies. And he kind of lowers his brow. <laughs> Enough energy. It's all we oh, can wow. muster. Uh, mechanically, what this does for you, Thunder, is oh, it will restore um, one spell slot of each level. Ooh. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And the last present that they brought us he walks over to the large crate that they wheeled in and he pulls off the top and you can see that inside are maybe about two dozen 
sticks of dynamite. Perfect. Ooh. Let's just I'll go take shove this. Let's just go that. shove this on the TNT ship and make it a bigger explosion. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only a dozen. It's not going to do much with that twenty <laughs> two hundred yeah, thousand tons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, imagine awesome. The ship literally has TNT like spilling out of the sides and all the openings. <laughs> I think that? this will help with your bridge plan. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, that that's go. gonna that's gonna go there. You got a gen all right, uh, and you got some guys with you. How many guys can we uh Picard can we, we send with them? I'm thinking we sent half of what we have half of the the wave here. Right. We send with them and the other half will stay here and help. Protect the college. Perfect. And we're using bang, bang. the sewers to get across under the bridge, right? No. You're taking the bridge. You're just walking to the bridge like normal, crossing it, and then exploding it. From the other side, you'll access the sewers. I see. Alright. Let's get this shit rolling. The longer we wait, the more time our enemy has to prepare. Um, okay. So, as you guys were all splitting out the treasure, I was hanging out with my Worm Clan friends, and you can see me taking my chainmail off. And uh, they're handing me a new set of armor to put on. And, uh, yeah, it's. You can tell that they. It's an attempt at the same kind of uh, leadership decorative armor that. For example, the ox is wearing, which is made of premium metals, exceptional art artisanship, um, beautiful colors. The same has been attempted with your Tundith ceremonial armor. Um, the level of quality isn't quite as high. They don't have the same resources as these major clans, but a lot of heart was put into it. Um, <laughs> it's a shining black armor with like a kind of grayish chromium um, trim around each of the pieces. And the most striking part of it is, of course, on the front, the spiraling worm that uh, proudly shows off your clan. And, yeah, they fit it to you, um, putting on all the pieces, and they are um, kind of trying to pump you up a little bit. Is it like a scale mail minus one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't even no. know what it does yet. <laughs> <laughs> it could uh, be awesome. could be to be the worst thing ever yeah and i like to think that jaru also really has no idea um what this is because it's not as though there's like this normal ceremonial armor that you normally wear the two this have never been to war um so that is uh quite quite unknown to you but it fits well and it looks kind of cool so it works Ooh, adamantium splint armor huh but what noise and when you return um the captain looks at you and says everything good with your clan and we get those two dudes with us to the the sewer side right yeah, yeah uh two undeaths yeah uh uh david and sorna yes oh, oh, no, you got davin you got davin no, no, Dabbing. Lopin is Loudon, or no, Lof, what was his name? Lopin. Lopin. No, Lopin. Lopin. Yeah, Lopin. Bobbin and Finnin. Bobbin and Finnin? Yeah, <laughs> Finnin and Bobbin. Uh, Tear. Uh, Either way, one of them's a spellcaster, and then the other is another, like, paladin type. That'll go in the sewers. Hell yeah. Uh, we still got more guys coming through pretty soon, I think, now that we're at the end of the rest. Uh, Yo Kizos and uh, Jaru. I think y'all have some groups of people, and I'll have some groups of people with me and the captain. And we'll all go enforce the bridge once they're all here. And I think everybody's good to go. Oh, long rest! Mingo! 
You gotta swing that thing to long rest just in case. I don't think they have much for us, but we gotta check. What's the Ox Clan leader's name again? Uh, Ungarn. Uh, Ungarn? Right? Undern. 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 Okay, I'm gonna type it out. Um, so and Domingo gives you a nod and says, Yeah, I'll, I'll have it ready. Okay, awesome. Um, and the captain kind of walks over to you and says, I don't know if it's wise to wait for this next wave. I think that we need to head out and they can meet us out. Okay. Uh, instructions. We give instructions to the guys that are going to stay and guard the room. And we make sure that there's plenty of people that are going to stay. Not a lot, but a good mixture of bowmen and, and uh, upper guys to hold the uh, actual gate. Make sure no one pops in through the window or some shit. Something yes, weird. a lot of the dwarves are going to stay behind and help guard the Arcane College. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm ready, guys. Uh, last question. How much of that dynamite was there to go around? Uh, there are two dozen sticks, and um, they're all for your team. Okay, great. You have uh, two bridges. Aslos, do you mind uh, being demo man? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. I thought oh, you might oh, carry right. it. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, that'd also be awesome. Okay, yeah, I'll carry it. Through. And right. I will say, okay. and I will say that I've been concentrating on uh, bringing Miss Hawthorne back, and I think that's probably about done. I'm hoping. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, I, oh, there are actually two things that I want to role play before we finish this. That, and yeah. we never really got to look at um. Ventus introducing Yokizos to Froyo. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really like the idea, Yokizos, of you being called over to Ventus, who wants to show you something in his bag, and he opens it up, and you look inside, and you just see two crystal blue eyes looking up at you, blinking a couple times. And I'm, I'm trying to like bag. have my wings out so no one else sees Froyo mm -hmm. as just Yokizos. Yeah, you uh, see these beautiful eyes just blinking back at you. As a as a inexplicable cold escapes the bag. It's like he opened the freezer and you just kinda get blasted with this cold air yeah, as these eyes part, at you. But uh. <laughs> And then and then in my mind I say, Froyo, this is Yokizos. He's one of and the Diamond Dragons. When you say that Yokizos, you see two more blinks. Blink blink. So yeah, I just I don't really know what to like I mean Fucking cool is another lizard like thing. Yeah, that's oh, why I named her after, or we nicknamed her after you. <laughs> oh, wait, like Fro Yo. Fro, fro. What's the yeah. Fro, what's the Fro for? Like Cause Frozen, because she's white. I see. Oh, icy. not an Afro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like a Fro, so she's a, is a cold lizard? Or is yeah, it... she, she has like an ice breath. Oh, that's fucking cool. So, yeah. I just, all I do is give her like a respectful nod, because. I guess I know how to communicate with lizards, so I know I'm not going to try to pet <laughs> a dragon. You know? <laughs> she gives you a tiny little nod back. It's like a respect nod. Like, oh. hell yeah. All right. I'm like, that's fucking cool. We'll talk about that. We'll talk more with her later, I guess, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and, I put her away. Uh, yeah, I give, kinda... her, I give her like a like a pet, I guess, as I put her <laughs> mm -hmm. away. But it's cool. And, she, it's uh, her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. You, Fail, um, have been uh, focusing on your ritual spell. You summon forth um, Mrs. Hawthorne. And when you bring her forward, in, instead of the normal form that she takes, she appears to you as a large red-tailed hawk. Oh, shit. And... Uh, you can see that her talons are much larger. Um, her beak is sharpened. And she does not possess the same um, kind of dainty feminine attitude that she used to. Um, it's an entirely different creature. As fine familiar might do at times. Uh, uh, I, I, in my mind, reach out to her. And be like, Mrs. Hawthorne was, uh, right? Like, she got married. 
And Mr. instead Hawthorne? of the <laughs> instead of the light um, female voice that you normally receive from Mrs. Hawthorne, you hear back a quite different voice. As like you said, this is a different familiar that that has been summoned forth to you as a yeah. response. Same kind of same spirit, but not same form, kind of different. Hey, what's right. going on, bub? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, okay. I forgot. What did you say to it? Oh no, yeah, I was just like, uh, Miss Miss Hawthorne, uh, right? Like, I mean, it's still you, right? I remember when I made you a mongoose once. What is going on? You're going to war, and I'm suited for war. Fuck yeah, uh. You sound like a dude this time. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Mr. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let me think about it. Can I, uh, I'll call you, can, I'll call you Rafe. You like that? Is that something you can like run with or you seem like a Rafe or like a, like a, I don't know, something like manly. I mean, kill Rafe some is shit. fine. Rafe Rafe is do, fine. do we okay. hear if I yell Frank. Talk, talk this? No, yeah, this, is, uh, this is all in head. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I I think I'd be mumbling maybe some of it. You'd hear like a couple words, but yeah, nothing like. Okay, okay. Uh, Do we see Rafe. the bird though? Yes, yeah, you definitely okay. see the bird. Um, and I think it would be quite noticeable to all of you that this is a large, bordering on eagle size bird. Yeah, way bigger than this hobbit. So while they're doing that, Yokizo kicks bubbles and scratches out, and he's just kind of like petting <laughs> them and hanging out. Because yeah. he's jealous now. It's like, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, Miss Hawthorne, this is a weird thing. It's like the same spirit, but I, this is Rafe. That's not Mrs. Uh, Hawthorne. It's not Mrs. Hawthorne. Not at all. It's, it's Rafe. He's a dude. Uh, he's ready for fucking war. Wait, who's so. Rafe? Wait, is it Rafe or Rafe? Rafe. I was thinking, I just made, I just made, made it up, uh, Ray, I, is there a better name? I think Rafe's good. He likes it. He thinks it'll work. Uh, Rafe. Did you say Rake? <laughs> no. Oh, Rafe. Rafe, like. Like yeah, Rafe, but know. with a PH? Like Strafe, but with an yeah. R. R A F E. Rafe, I don't know. R A F E. Yeah, Rake. I like that, dude. That's good. And Captain Rafe. Holt, or Captain Picard, raises his hand and says, okay, let's. uh. Okay, oh, yeah, to back go. to business. All right, yeah. We're going. My bad. And, yeah, uh, I walk into the room with the dwarves, and I'm just going to kind of – I don't need to RP it, but I'm just going to have a little conversation mm -hmm. with Undern and some of the other dwarves. Okay. And you said you don't want to RP it? No. Okay. It's just like kind of um, small talk about kind of like what the plan is. and. Sure, filling them in. Yeah. And uh, – when you tell them that, they nod, and Undurn kind of gives some orders, and the dwarves begin to spill out from the room. Um, as most of them are in charge of holding down the college, there are dwarves that will be joining y'all, but the uh, the majority of them are going to be used to reinforce this perimeter. And um, Captain Picard kind of leads you all out, and the humans that were inside, some of them stay behind to help guard the, uh, the way portal room. The rest of them filter out to join the rest of you. The Rat King leaves. And... Um, the the group of you enter into the um into the courtyard at the arcane college outside um it's early in the morning still the sun is just barely beginning to rise so it's still kind of that those twilight hours where it's not dark but it's also not light um, oh, so is it a day no we started the well it's the, the same morning. day yeah it's we the same started day at 6 oh. remember um do you have names for the other clan leaders, or are there not? Are there other clan leaders here, like the board? The other clan leaders did not come. Okay. Uh, Undern is the only clan leader that came. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Undarn is going to um is going to stay at the Arcane College and lead the dwarves there. They need some leadership here. Um, uh... So yeah, he's not in charge of the assault. Um, Captain Picard will be doing that with you. Um. But it's still important. So he stays behind. And um, the two groups walk together out 
to the the edge of the arcane college where you are to split. Um, and it'd probably be easier now to go to the actual Ocaria map, probably. Um, and so, yeah, y'all head to about like where Aslos is, kind of at the edge there. And Captain Picard begins to put on his armor and says, So does everyone understand what we're doing? Are there any last questions before we split up? Uh, so when we take this bridge, do we just like charge at the bridge and like blow it up? And then we like run to the sewers? It says to sneak around the bridge in the plan. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I was... Whenever the lieutenant described it to me, I think the less they know, the better. Okay. There will probably be some kind of patrol at the bridge, and I will... Excuse me. The lieutenant will allow you to take care of whatever happens at the bridge, however you need to do it. But... We would rather them not know that there are two different parties. The idea, hopefully, is that they think that the assault party is the only one, which will buy you much-needed time and lack of attention to be able to slip away into the sewers while destroying some bridges on the way. Okay. Well, I think we should make haste. Alright. I go into stealth. Get your stones. Get your stones. And uh, he nods, he says, good luck. If everything goes according to plan, we will see you at the keep. Did we, hey, at a game, did we ever decide... Domingo has a... Okay, yeah, we did figure it out. My bad. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Flap, flap, flap. I'm definitely not stealthing. Wait, Thunder, do you have Pass Without Trace? Oh, well, unless we don't need it. Uh, let me check if I have that prepared. And, uh, Jin, you can actually use your um, reliable talent on that roll if you would like. I don't oh, yeah, yeah. So it counts as a 10, so it's a... 19? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, okay. So now we're going to get into the actual game side of things. So we're going to be splitting up. I have to sneeze. I guess I don't. Uh, we're going to be splitting up into two groups, obviously. And so I'm going to go each group at a time. Um, starting with the assault group. Um, so the four of you, because Grot is with you as well, um, continue with the captain forward. And um, he brings you kind of close to the edge of where the bridge is. Um, you can kind of see on the uh, on the map here, and I would like for each of you to roll me Jaru, Fayil, and Yokizos uh, perception checks. <laughs> I'm okay at those. <laughs> I am badass at those. <laughs> Never doubted it. And you can see Yokizos as the group of you march closer. You're not really trying to be stealthy about it at all. Um, you can see activity on the bridge. Yeah, I'm also under the impression that part of us being so upfront and this whole assault thing will give the sewer people more leniency on sneaking around. That's kind of what. That's the idea. Be. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, can I identify yeah. what kind of commotion is going on? Uh, just like movement by people, like you can see figures moving on the bridge, like kind of running back and forth. Um, okay, yeah, I let I let I put my hand out to slow them. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like. I mean, we don't need to be sneaky and shit, but there's definitely some commotion on the bridge. Yeah. Just just no. forewarning you, like we're about to, shit's about to happen. Okay. 
and then I, I and then, and then I look back at my dwarf boys, and we continue marching. Can we yeah. see what? Can we see what's? Uh, can we see what type of figures are on the bridge? If you can figure that out, I can't see them from here. Um. It's yeah. Still, it's still I mean, a little dark. You have a guess, obviously, but no, it, you're you're still a, a, a good distance from it, maybe like a like a hundred yards or so. And the captain is kind of speaking under his breath, and he says, "Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this was expected. I, I am imagining that this is going to be a pretty contested spot. Um, they're not going to want us to be able to cross the bridge, and of course, we want to cross it. So, not uh, not surprised, but." Slightly disappointing. Wow. I th I think it's pretty simple. We we rush in, fucking take this bridge, and you and your men back us up. You uh your archers can definitely stay out of the fight, shooting from a distance, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we just run in there and fucking take this fucking bridge. I don't know. And uh, it's yeah, be quick. Yeah, when you say that the group of you start up across, uh, up onto the bridge. And you can see that the bridge, this is not the bridge's first battle. And uh, let me bring y'all over. I didn't think uh, about... As we're walking, I apply basic poison to my flail. Because I'll uh, never who... use it otherwise, so I might as well put it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, remember that for me, because I, I don't know if I'll be able to remember um, just like whenever you attack and whatnot. Basic poison. Um, let me add. I'm about to bring you all over to a battle map, but I'm adding those of you who aren't here to it so that battle you aren't completely map. bored. Um, and so you all approach the bridge. And as you approach the bridge... You can see that this is not the bridge's first battle in the takeover of Ocaria. There are several blast marks on it. Palisades have already been built and are established here. Um, and it is a, like the captain described, a hotly contested zone. And oh, you can yeah. hear the cries and yells of enemy combatants on the other side of the bridge as they're preparing for your attack. Um, and the captain kind of moves his men around to get them in place. And um, as you walk up, Fail, he walks up to you and says, feel free to, to move them as you need. Um, I think we're all ready to, to siege it whenever you are. Okay, sounds great. Uh, I mean, fuck. Everybody's ready to roll, right? Looking at Yo can, I, can I see this cannon? No, y'all have a pretty tough time seeing... You would have to... The, these lines of sight that I've created are because of these palisade walls. Okay. Um, so you'll have to like kind of move around the battlefield to be able to get a clear line of sight. Or will I? Yeah, probably <laughs> <laughs> but in uh on the other side you're also safe behind a palisade wall so kind of you, you, you don't get both um so yeah whenever y'all are ready unless there's anything that you want to do beforehand um yeah before we all start to fight i pull out my balmic warhorn and mm. burr, 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 like boromir his horn yeah and I blow yeah. that shit out. Basically, like, they know we're coming, so fuck this shit, you know? So, sure, yeah. Everyone has, um, ally, has advantage on their next attack. Yeah, the uh, the horn rings out, and that's kind of the marker that this battle is about to begin. As you hear the one T and the drow kind of cry out and yell at the uh, yell at the bridge at the sound of your horn. And uh, we're going to roll initiative. So the way that this is going to work is that each kind of uh, unit type is going to share a turn. So all the human soldiers share a turn, all the oh, Von Rieg dwarves God. share a turn, <laughs> the uh, drow scouts, brood guards, they all share turns. What about the 12 swarms um, of spiders? <laughs> <laughs> and the more special units get their own turns. I love the soldiers icon. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
He's a soldier. Uh, George is just like, so. Uh, so uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Terrible. We'll uh, we'll do a turn and then go over to the other guys. Yeah. Terrible. Talk about. Yeah. I don't really know how this is gonna go, so this... be patient with me. I this is gonna am go last. <laughs> this is kind of big combat. Uh, those of you that are watching, feel free to move your tokens around however you want. I wish I could just give y'all universal vision, but I don't know how. Dwarves and Yokizos are slow. <laughs> We're heavily armored, it makes uh, sense. Yeah. We start with the uh, Gunslinger, um, who is up on a tower. Y'all can all see him as he's manning a ballista. Um, but the majority of you are... I'm going to turn on his vision just to be fair. Yeah, he really, he can't see any of you as y'all are kind of up and against the palisade walls. So he is going to ready an action and delay his turn. Uh, and... I can actually see him with my, with my vision. Weird. Oh, really? That's yeah. funny. There's a blister on the other side of the wall. <laughs> uh, the fear bulgs turn his next and he looks at you, Fayil, and kind of gives you a questioning look. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Uh, you got something you could be tough and just run in there like you know take a lot of damage I can hurt? be tough yes yeah you want tough rush it in, yeah rush it in there I will be tough the clan of the and, dragon uh, with a large roar he wild shapes into a polar bear oh yes and no, uh he if, I, just... if you kill Grot I will fucking murder you <laughs> just so you know I got... His whole plan's going to shit if he dies. He has so, you know. 40 feet of movement, so he's just going to run right on out. And as he runs out, the uh, it triggers the ballista's uh, action. So the ballista's going to fire at him. I'm so sorry, You're supposed Grant. to be smart, Fael. You just told him to fucking run out there. Yeah. So it's going to be worth it. He's going to take it. He's going to be... He's going to Ooh! nail it. Too and uh, the ballista, the ballista bolt goes wide and sinks into one of the palisade walls. You can hear the road, the wood kind of creak though as this huge bolt goes flying. Uh, and uh, Fail, it's your turn. Okay, uh, bow out, bow out. Uh, find the right button. This one. And I, she's well. I don't know. She's gonna run to over here. Oh, uh, no walls. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Uh, well, I guess you can't really. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, she'll fucking. I gotta do math now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, using diagonals, she can get to uh, right here. And she really still can't see anything. Yeah, um, you can see that they have built a uh, a pretty elaborate palisade structure, um, shielding them. Okay, uh, knowing that as I'm running, can I like switch on dash as that happens, or do I have to like? Yeah, dash? I would let that let that be your action. Sure. Okay. Then. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get all the way to here. Okay. And then, and yeah, I can see one, but I'm just moving. I'm going to try to get to this back wall, put my back up to it uh, in turn. Okay. And I'll be um, like, this way! Yeah. It's the Elite Warrior's turn. Um, and he is going to just kind of quickly step out to see what he can see. Um, both sides are, are pretty timid right now, both kind of being walled up, just only exposing themselves to get a glance at what the battlefield looks like. And as he steps out, uh, he is going to take a, uh, a crossbow shot at Grot, just because it's a giant polar bear that he can see. Oh yeah. Yes. Um, and he's going to miss as it goes wide. And that's his action, so he's just going to peek back in. Um, no reason to stay there. He just kind of pokes, shoots, and then comes back behind the wall. Um, 
And Jaru, it's your turn. Can't see anything. Um, all right, I'm going to take my first... Oh, it's requiring me to, like, back out and then... Mm-hmm. Walls still OP. Can't see. Um, can I use a dash as an action? Yeah, yeah, you can. So that gives me an additional 60 feet of movement? It'll double, double, yeah, it'll double your movement speed for this turn. Okay, so this is... You've already moved 15, 15 right? You still have 45 more. All right, and then I'm going to use my boots of spider climbing, or slippers oh, of spider shit. climbing, and I'm going to go on the underside of this bridge. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to sneak down here my additional oh, feet. Sorry. Okay. I'm, un- I'm underneath, like right here. Sure. Let me put you here. Minus and I'll do 10. minus five. Minus five. David, do you not have the under bridge map? <laughs> I don't have that module. I'm Why so didn't you make this, bro? Come uh, on. David, yeah, yeah, you know prep, his abilities. My have you ever prepped dude. for a session in your life? Oh uh, will you link me slip? I just want to read these slippers. Upside down. Wow. Yeah, I think you can do. You can climb any way at all with that. That's the, that's that's crazy. Okay, yeah, you are upside down now, underneath the bridge, out of sight, running, running. out of mind. And I still um, have five feet. Okay. I still. Oh, I do have five feet or it. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. That little minus five feet is saying that you are five feet underneath. Just as a reminder Elevation. for me. Yeah, elevation. Okay, I see. The Z value? Hello. The Z value. Just so I can remember that you are not attackable. And I'll I'll uh I'll end my turn there. I think that's thirty feet sixty feet total. Okay, perfect. Um it's the Drow Elite Warrior's turn. And he's not going to do anything. Y'all can just hear him yelling out orders in a language that you don't understand. But uh you can hear him barking as I understand. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's nothing really interesting. He's basically just saying, like, like man the ballista, uh, prepare the cannon, make sure that uh, you're taking sh- like shots where you can, kind of deal. So I yell out, they have a cannon! And when you say that, the captain kind of looks over at you and says, a cannon? They have a cannon and a ballista, in case you haven't noticed by the giant bolts flying through. And uh, the captain turns around and warns... Okay. Take care of the cannon, then. Boss. And it's the captain's turn, and he's kind of mostly going to do the same as y'all. He's uh, he's just going to dash and um, move up to this little area here and kind of side up with his men. Um, it's now all the soldiers' turn. Um, and so with the soldiers' turns... They are mostly going to move to your discretion, Fayul. Oh, okay. Uh, the one right here. Does it? Let me see if it clicks. Ah, it won't do it. Okay, that's all. Oh, won't let you move them. I can change that. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I gotta. Can you see my measurement tool? I can, but it's it'll just be easier for me to uh let you okay. move them. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now you can move them. Okay. Uh. So dashing one two three four five six seven. This guy's gonna dash all the way over to here. Ah, oh, fucking walls. Yeah, sorry. Boom and boom. Yeah, I think you can get to all the way there with dashing. He's got thirty foot. Imagine. Uh, yeah, they should all have thirty feet. Okay. Uh, same with this guy. He's going to. Oh no! I'm probably the worst person to let this happen. See, look, <laughs> look what just happened. Look what just happened. Okay, uh, I think I got him now. No? Just move him. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, make sure in the top left that it's the little person, and it's the brackets. Yeah. It's still not... I can move him for you. There, there you go. I just want him next to where the other guy just ran from. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know why that... Right there. The other one worked fine. Yeah, David. Fuck. It's okay. Why? That's okay. This is not gonna work. Move uh, this where guy. do you want this one? He up here. Yeah, right there. And they're all gonna run that way. Yeah, they're okay. all gonna just gonna line up in there. 
Okay. That's it, Karen. Perfect. My, it's the hey, it's the comments, the toggle token dialogue chat bubbles. It's all yeah, fucking it, lit up, and it's not letting me go back to just the whatever happened, the first one. Uh, oh, it's weird. probably because it was. It, I, I think I know why, and I don't know a fix to it. So I'll just move them for you. You can just okay. let me know. Right. Um, but oh, you should be able to open their sheets and at least see what they can do. Okay. Yeah. From there, they can't see anything yet, so sure. they're hanging loose. Okay. Um, it's the Drow Scouts' turn, and um, they are going to stay in position after this one kind of peeks out to see what they can see. Um, whenever it peeks out, it is going to do just a quick shot. At uh, at the polar bear once again. That one does hit. So Grot takes a shot in the shoulder, um, and he does have to make a con saving throw, and he fails. Mm. Um. Ooh. You all watch as the poison from the crossbow bolt takes over his body, and he, the polar bear, falls over unconscious from the poison. Uh, what? Damn it! Fine. And after, after that shot, I mean, the, I don't, I'm uh, not as sure so that's gonna happen. The scout kind of Wind retreats shot? back in. Ugh. He's one shot um, bears out here. <laughs> it's the dwarves' turn, um, and I was going to let uh, Yokizos and Jaru command these. Jaru is currently under bridge, so I don't know Jaru if you want to command them. Oh, he had his baby was crying. He's gonna take care of him. I have yeah, Yokizos. Go ahead, this turn. So can I have control? Yes, I'm afraid the same thing is going to happen. Where you can only move yeah. one, but oh, I will I will give you control just to see. You can try. Okay. So this one's going to move here, and he's going to use the dodge action. Which, okay. Uh, That's a sad baby. Um, I'm going. He's going to use the dodge action. Which basically, his he's not actually dodging. He has a shield up, like his shield is in front of him. I'm imagining they have shields. Sure, sure. And yeah, I can only move one. Dang it. Yeah, where do you want this one? Um, so I want this one to line up behind him. Oh, that one. Sorry. Okay. I want I want them to line up like right here. I'm gonna create a formation. Okay. Behind the guy, and any of them that are not having the dash are doing the dodge action, just in case. Um. Okay. I think that would be most of them. Like this? Yes. And then the other one go here. Okay. And then, yeah. So they're going to, next turn, all march forward, uh, using the dodge action the whole way up the bridge, basically all holding a shield wall. Okay. Cool. Um, it's the brood guard's turn. And they're going to stay where they are. No movement. Um, actually, except for this one. Which I know y'all can't see which one. But, uh, but this one is going to arm the cannon and shoot it. This shot is coming for you, Fayol. Mm. Cannonball. And it goes wide. Just run but, duck, duck and low. Sorry, man, I wish I had I wish I had like a cannonball shot. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it's just like boom, take out part oh, of the bridge or something. Yeah. I'll work on it. Um okay. Dang, Dave, that's and, next level. Take out part of the battle arena. Like while we're yeah, I'd have, have to, to, I'd have to make so many uh effect. I'd have to make so many maps. Uh right, are you not so worth it, I'm David? going to hear <laughs> So that's 15, and I'm going to dash. So I get what? Another. It was a 60 total, so I get another, I get 45. Another 45 on top of the 15, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes to there. 
So I dash to there, and then as my bonus action, because that takes my regular action, I will cast Sacred Flame onto this Yanti Broodguard. Can you cast a cantrip as a bonus action? Yep, I have Warcaster. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you're casting onto the Wanty? Onto that brood guard right there. Okay. Uh, let me check. No magical resistance. Ha, he yeah, takes he fails. 13 damage. Okay. And that'll yeah. be my turn. Boop. Perfect. Um, so that'll be the first round. Kind of gives you all an idea of what this combat is going to look like. Um, oh, wait till next turn, David. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens with the other group. So, speaking of the other group, I'm going to bring you all over to the Ocaria map. Because yours is going to be a bit different. Guys, I feel like I should probably take the potion now to regain those spells. Is that correct? What, what do you have? Yeah. Probably a good <laughs> That's idea. The point of the... I'm sorry, I'm not there. I bet. I take the potion. <laughs> take the potion. <laughs> David, before you take me anywhere, I take it. I'm okay. regaining levels. Yeah, or you, uh, spell per level. you drink it, you feel the power bestow upon you, yes. and I'm going through your sheet and restoring your spell slots. Some of them. I thought, I thought it was one per level. Yep. Oh, okay. So you're going to do it. I'm not touching it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. I won't touch it then. Yep. You're good. So it's now all correct. Um, and so the group of you, um, it's a bit smaller, this group. You have two Tuendith dwarves, the group of you, and a few humans that are all walking together. And they're... Is a rat most... king with us? And the rat king, yes. Okay. And several rats that are running around at his ankles. Um, and they, the group behind you is mostly looking to you, Jen, for um, where to go and, like, what to do. Um, and as you are walking, the Rat King quietly says to you, Jen, so do you have any idea of how we're going to do this? Well, I figured first we'd send some scouts, make sure the area's clear. And then, assuming the coast is clear, or if not, we'll... Set a distraction up to lead any unwanted attention away from the north side of the bridge while the demo team sets the dynamite. What's the weather like? Is it actually raining right now? Uh, it's Yes, yeah, it's kind of raining. Like, not like a hard rain, more like a Seattle rain. Okay. That's me, I'm the demo team. Oh, sorry. What's a Seattle rain? Mm. Uh, like, a, like a misting, yeah. Like a yeah. bunch of tourists around, like Seattle. Yeah, it's just oh. you're all really closely packed. There's like no room to walk. And I'm sleepless. <laughs> and uh, oh! <laughs> the uh, the Rat King kind of stops everyone as you round a building, and before you're able to walk around to the other side, and he says, "The Smiths Bridge is around this corner." Yeah. Do you have any uh, rats that get, are in the area? Yes, of course. What do they Can see? You... And when you say that, he kind of raises his hand, and you can see from the corners of this building several rats appear and kind of wiggle their whiskers and look at him and then run off into the distance. And the Rat King keeps his hand up almost like kind of in a trance as he looks fixatedly forward and he kind of begins to murmur to you. I see many, many men on the bridge. They're relaxing. They're watching. They aren't suspicious yet. There are palisades. We're quite outnumbered. They're looking at something in the distance pointing to it, exclaiming in a language I don't understand. But as they see this... Which direction are they pointing? And he pauses for a second. Southeast.
They're gathering their equipment. It seems as though they are... They're mobilizing? And he kind of pauses and falls out of this trance that he was in and looks to Eugene and says, they killed the rat. Shit. I don't see anything anymore. Don't, don't you have more? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And he kind of looks at you, like, questioningly, like, you obviously, like, don't understand. I say a little prayer for the rat. This yeah. wasn't, like, a conjured okay, animal. So, it was a real uh, animal. How about this? Ventus and I will go try to draw them away from the bridge. Once we do, everyone else comes up and supports as low as the demo team. And the Rat King kind of shakes his head and he says, maybe I wasn't clear. They're, they're running to us across the bridge. Oh, shit. I thought they were running away. And I'm going to bring y'all over to a map. Thank you. I'm, I'm back. And, uh, I'll bring oh, okay. y'all on. Can't maneuver. So they're running south towards us, right? Yes. Okay, so they're... okay, so. And I want the group of you to roll me a perception check. Yeah. That was almost a crit. Oh, this... <laughs> and thunder. Yes. You and Jen look to the direction that the Rat King was describing. And you can see what they are reacting to. It's a pretty tall tower off in the distance. And you can see on it, a uh, there's like a figure and a weapon, like a ballista. And there's a large torch that is now lit, like a signal fire. And I relay this information to everyone in our party that did not perceive this. Same. Uh, and I yell, everyone, get down, and let's try to ambush them. Hello! What, what? So, do you think we could all cross this river without the bridge? Because if we blow up the bridge, like, right here, then they can't even cross, and it'll look like we're stopping them from, like, a flanker or, or whatever, and then we can, like, pretend to run across and, like, help the assault team but we're actually like sneaking around and we're actually gonna like go like under this bridge or something i have water breathing prepared do we all need to do that what if some <laughs> hold up the guys that are crossing the bridge while another team goes across and the rat king turns to you and he says and he says we are outnumbered yeah i think we should try and blow the bridge here and then like do we can and make it across. We can sneakily make it across the several river. Several of them are walking forward as you begin to see their numbers as they begin to cross the bridge. Um, like the Rat King described, they are in full equipment. Um, and you recognize a drow priestess in the center of them when you fought her. Shit. Um, they are. They look quite strong as they're moving. Um, and I want the four of you to roll me an insight check. See how, how fucked we are? <laughs> Vince, Vince is like, oh yeah, we're pretty fucked. <laughs> so fucked. <laughs> uh, Vince and Jin, you both kind of make the connection, and I'll confirm this connection to, for you in case you were kind of making it on your own, that they are heading in the direction of the assault team's bridge. Yeah, we, we should just like blow it up right here. Like Thunder, get ready to like, produce flame. And as let's go throw some dynamite over there. Agreed. We have to stop them from getting flanked. Uh, I'm ready. Aslos, chunk that dynamite onto the bridge. Like half you of it. All like of half it? of it. Half of it. Half, no, it. Oh. half of it. Yeah, where then, onto the bridge? Just like, just like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get take it. I'm gonna pull it out and take a toss right as I see them kind of like approaching. Thunder followed up with produce flame. Yeah, it's cantrip. I'm ready. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm right behind Thunder in case his fire fucks up. Um, hey. 
Roll me a strength check, Aslos, as you chuck the dynamite. Can I have advantage since I can throw 2,600 pounds? <laughs> uh, we'll this, yeah, in fact, that's why it's a regular check, because you could chuck it to the other side of the city if you really had to. Fuck yeah. This oh. is more of a, uh, okay. not not full strength, more of a but... Uh, this is a dex check. Yeah, this, is, this is an accuracy more check, accurate. not a... Can you um, it enough? <laughs> strength becomes irrelevant. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. I was just making sure. I was like, you know. <laughs> we all know you're strong enough. Um, I don't have a thing to like signify where you throw it, but you throw it, um, and it lands about like here as it bounces, and the sticks all kind of like scatter about this area. Um, Thunder go! Thunder and you can see several first. drow kind of look up I chunk, I and look at that slow. area. And I need you to cast it and roll an attack for me. Oh, come on, baby. Fuck. Yeah, come on. And you... <laughs> it's funny how, how often you use produce flame. Um, you're tried and true. You snap your fingers, a flame produces, and you fling it forward. And the flame bounces a few times before the heat connects with the stick and like a zig bomb yeah and you watch as they kind of continue forward and a second too late they realize what's happening and the dynamite explodes yes <laughs> i'm gonna pull yes, thunder really. back in case like the explosion is like too big like yeah 200 thousand tons of tnt <laughs> <laughs> how big of an explosion are we talking here like it it's was a pretty, pretty fucking epic like, is that it's a, no, it's, it's like, yeah i mean this explosion is like like anyone on this side of the city their like house has shaken like this is no longer a subterfuge like explosion oh thank god um, <laughs> like the the bridge is destroyed um Hell yeah. It is not, and I should have made another uh, another map for it. I, I apologize, um, but the bridge is no longer connected. There's no way, unless you can like leap it, to be able to cross to the other side. So I'm gonna draw here, like what oh. the bridge looks like now. They're all instant death. Um, and so this is like the hole, I guess. That is that is a good explosion now. size? Yeah, that's good. All right, so um, do these people take damage? Yes, give me a, <laughs> give me a second. Um, Absolutely. You, uh, you, you, got a, you got ahead of me there. Uh, um, that's a yeah. good drawing, though. I like that drawing. Yeah, that's about like how the bridge is shattered now. Nothing like heavy could cross it. You would have to like leap a good like 15 feet to be able to get across it. Um, and all of these drow are captured, and one T are captured in the explosion. You watch their bodies explode, arms, legs, everything goes everywhere. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. These are blown back up against the wall and take significant damage um, from the explosion. Oh. And I'm looking at everybody again? Again? Can I throw the rest? No, we need to save up to the other bridge. Oh, 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 sorry. And they are, uh, they are blown backwards. But as a result of this explosion... Um, you do enter combat, and so I'm gonna have to have everyone roll initiative. Oh, Ooh. You saved the world. <laughs> Fukizos hears the explosion, but doesn't recognize it as the bridge blowing up, and thinks that the cannon was just shot again. <laughs> yeah, we're in the thick of it. Oh, Let's geez. fucking go. Nice Let's dive. fucking go, baby. <laughs> Bro, um, I'm always last. And uh, <laughs> first, I would like to. Uh, I would like to give y'all a round two, a round yeah. as well, um, and then um, we'll see how much time we have left and, and kind of go from there. We might end it a little bit early just so we can have a clean end, you know? Um, David, I think you're then... so cool, and I'm the last one on my, t my side. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. There's no way. <laughs> Maybe, but but probably not. Uh, and then next week, we'll probably just we'll, we'll finish both these encounters out. Um, so... With all of that said, we start with uh, Thunder. Oh, yeah.
Meow. Go ahead, Thunder. I'm scared. I bet. Uh, let me let me do this measurement real quick. How far away are these people? Fifty, sixty. Yeah, I just gotta go. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, for me, like to be in this area. Okay, I'll stop that. For me to be here, is this like how, how does that how's difficult terrain and shit work? That's not difficult it, terrain. It's not these rocks. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're okay, good. cool, awesome. Uh, so yeah, I am right here, and I should be able to. Yep, thirty feet. I'm doing produce flame. Wow, oh, he follows it up. Music is yeah, on this awesome. drow... Uh, on the drow scout. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that hits. Your mouse. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And I... Yeah, the already badly burned body from the dynamite yeah, yeah. just kind of succumbs to the fire as she cripples over and dies. Hell yeah. And I go back into this bush and I praise the Largian. Hell yeah. <laughs> my man. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. My man. Uh, it's this soldier's turn. These soldiers are at the discretion of you, Jen. Uh, and can I see their sheets? Like, what Do they have ranged attacks available or are they just... Uh, they do. Let me uh, let me show you their sheets here in a second. They they basically either have a, a long sword or a short bow. And they know fireball. <laughs> they know fireball. They do not know fireball. <laughs> <laughs> we know fireball, but can't cast spells. <laughs> um, just a second. They are under here. There you go. So both of them are just going to move up to the rocks over here and try to take like position and cover and start shooting the longbows. Uh, probably at the closest guy. Okay, this one here? Yeah. And you should be able to open the sheet and uh, roll it yourself, just so I'm not accused of tampering. It should be tampering, David. That, uh, that hits? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell yeah. And then the next one. Mm hmm That hits. Jesus. Oh yeah, killing it. Hitting him in the shin. Yeah. <laughs> Big counts. Okay. It's the Rat King's turn, who is also going to step forward from the tree line. And is going to aim at the brood guard and fire his pistol at it. Fifteen does hit. Oh damn! And he shoots it dead, blows its head right off. Looks pretty badass. And uh, he stands his ground. Yeah, there's a loud shot that rings out over this battlefield. It's now chaos. There's screaming, there's crying, several bloody bodies, rocks falling into the river. River it, noises and shit. Yeah, it went from chaos, from peace to chaos extremely fast. Um, go ahead, Ventus. Okay. Um, how is this middle part of this bridge supported? Like, is there, like, a thing under it? Yeah, you can see, like, two large, like, uh, like uh, pillars, I guess would be the right okay. word, like columns, you you know, and, the and then how high is the bridge from the water? We'll call it maybe like a good like 15 feet. Okay. I'm going to dash under the bridge. Like all the way. Oh, let me make sure. Yeah. Like all the way over here. Okay. But I want to be like under the bridge. I want to be like, like hiding under the bridge and kind of like shooting sure. from under the bridge. I'm going to give you minus five just so I remember that you're there. And then, um, would they know that I'm down here or like? 
probably not like, where you I, are down there, but like they would see you like there. fly underneath it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I'll just I'll chill, I'll chill here then. Okay. It's the elite warrior's turn. Who like kind of gets up from the wounds that he just uh, he just suffered, and is going to run to the other side of this palisade and kind of catch his breath for a second. Um, and so once he's back behind the palisade, he has fifteen. 20. He is going to step out here and he has multi attack, so he's going to fire two shots at this human soldier. Does he get disadvantage because he's hiding behind rocks? Uh, no, I, I didn't <laughs> think they were hiding, <laughs> uh, but he does hit. Actually, he doesn't. I didn't see those 18. They have high armor class. Wow. So here's the oh. second shot. Serious, Clark? Okay, that one does it. <laughs> There's eight big ones. Damn. 18 Ooh. humans, eh? And, yeah, high uh, AC, low, low health. Yeah, the hip. And he fails the con save. Oh. What'd that mean? But uh, but not too badly. So he's just poisoned. Just. No big deal. Just poisoned. Um, and he's going to after that he's going to take a step back behind the wall. Um, this draw's dead. So Jen, it's your turn. All right. So I'm going to hide behind the rock. Okay. This big boulder here for like. Cover. Yeah. I don't know how. Oh, there we go. And I kind of want to peek out just a little bit. And uh, could I be considered a stealth or go into stealth? Wait. Um. You would need to use the uh, high. high. Yeah, you'd have yeah, to use the yeah. bonus so, action. High. So yeah, I use the bonus action to hide. But I guess my question's more is, can I effectively get sneak attack even though they know we're over in this position? Um, whenever you hide, you make a stealth roll, and it'll determine if you are like uh, if you are like unseen. So go ahead and make your stealth roll since you're using your bonus action to hide. Okay, let me measure something real quick. So be okay. if I okay, nice. So I only use half my movement, so I can get advantage on my stealth check with. Supreme sneak. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you can take your bonus action to hide. Um. And so go ahead and roll a stealth check with advantage. Good thing you took it. Um. And then so let me roll some perception checks. Um. Just to see if they see you. They can test it. Nope. And this one. Nope. The other ones have don't have sight of you, so you are effectively in, unseen to them. Okay, so I'm going to take a pot shot at this guy. Okay, that has advantage. Oops. Doesn't it? My dumb? Uh, hope so. <laughs> it, it does, because he cannot see me. Right, and so that triggers sneak attack. Yeah. And so let me turn on your sneak attack. There you go. And, uh, yeah, you just outright... How do you kill her? Uh, just straight between the eyes. Woo! Yeah, dead shot. And, uh, then I just chill. Um, okay. Very cool. It is this, uh, Broodguard's turn that is behind the wall. And he is going to use his, um, action to dash this way and Asos it's your turn uh, I'm going to just go over to can I not move my guy 
Oh wait! Oh, no, I know what I did. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just. I know I did. Sorry. I'm gonna go over to this guy over here. I'm kind of gonna just like, um, kind of like protect over him in a sense. Like I okay. know that he's like poisoned, so I don't want to like him to take any more shots. I feel like I can't really do anything else, so I'll just use my action to kind of like. Okay, I'll fully give him. Block. Uh, yeah, I'll give him three quarters cover then. Because yeah. you're kind of making that intention to block for him. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, because I, I don't really see, um, you know, I, I can't really do anything, like, other than that. And, I mean, I guess mm -hmm. I guess if somebody, like, does come near here, I'll, like, arm an axe attack. But other than that, I'll just, I'll just do nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah, that works for me. Um, next is Lopin's turn. And jar you. I would like for you to do their turns. If that's okay. Yeah, where is he? The lope. The lopen. Where's his character sheet? You should be able to double click okay. his token. Yeah. He doesn't have much, but better than nothing. Um. He's going to take dash, dash action Okay. to behind this barricade. Sounds good to me. Um, okay, very good. And next is this brood guard who is also going to dash away. Oh, shit. And I would like for all the party members to roll me a perception check as you'll watch these two brood guard kind of run from under the bridge <laughs> under the oh, bridge yeah, no carrier bridge. Well, i ran from dudes uh lopin you watch as you're running towards the palisade and the brood guard is running away you see the drow elite warrior like kind of giving them commands like basically ordering them to run Okay. The the Lopin yells out, oh, goodness. "Kill the elite warrior!" Sorry, I got quiet because I woke up my my kid. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> um. Okay. And next is the scout, who is also going to dash. Pussy. It's about there. And last but not least is Sornin. And go ahead, Jar you. Oh shit. Oh. Sornin's not built with Oh, he does. Uh. He's gonna cast Eldritch Blast on the Elite Warrior. Okay. 120 feet. <laughs> <I'm serious>. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, it's hard. He's behind a palisade wall. The Eldritch Blast kind of goes wide. Um, but the rest of the party kind of turns around and sees a magical dwarf. And yeah, that brought us just about to time. Um, I'm comfortable ending it here. And then next session, we'll start right into combat uh, with the other group. And we'll basically just do each each group gets around, and we'll just keep going back and forth until both encounters are finished. Get a mess. Sounds good. Awesome. Cool. All right, well, I'll uh, see y'all later. I'll see y'all next week. GG's yeah. Sounds good. Later, dude. Thanks, David. Yeah, thanks, yeah. David. Uh, I'm proud. I can see the maps look beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, have a great. thanks man. I'll have a destroyed bridge for y'all next time. Oh, wait, David. Oh, yeah. my, uh, my aspect of the worm has changed. Oh um, really? Since we put yeah, since it's been put in. I was looking at it the other day. Um so